Welcome to Real Magic Review. I'm gonna start making slightly different videos. Um, obviously, I'm gonna still do reviews, all that kind of stuff. But after speaking to a lot of people at the session convention, it seems that a lot of people have the same issues as me around practice and performance and learning magic and all that kind of stuff. So I posted a, uh, a blog yesterday for the first time in a long time. I love writing and I haven't done it for so long. So if you want to sign up to that, I'm not going to spam people. I hate it when I get emails that are clearly just sort of created for the sake of creating content. I'm not against it. If you do that, that's fine. But it's just, it's not my thing. So I'd rather create blogs and videos for people who have genuine questions. And I get a lot of very similar questions. So I'm going to read out uh, this one. I'll keep it anonymous. If you do want to join the email list again, for not getting spammed. You'll get a few emails that I've automated, but you'll get mostly the, um, the this sort of thing. So me sending you messages of these videos that I've, I've posted something or answering your questions directly that I feel will help a lot of people. So just go to Steve Faulkner, F-A-U-L-K-N-E-R, stevefaulkner.com forward slash blog. And I'll, the emails I send out, I'll also put on there and that will be for subscribers only. So just stick your email in there and I'll, um, I'll uh, uh, yeah, that. <laughs> what I'll do. Uh, right, so thanks for the wonderful email. After a long time, I'm seeing an email which makes a lot of sense. Yay. Uh, this is from Malaysia, which is exciting. I want to go back there. Um, we people who love magic need time to do the necessary practice before presenting it. And some of us, me included, will not do any magic trick to anyone unless I've practiced it enough to be presented and be entertaining to the audience. Thank you so much for taking the time to explain and uh, some suggestions on finding the time to practice. In today's world, everyone is so bogged down with work, sitting in front of a PC or meddling with Facebook, LinkedIn or other social networks. Your email is one of the ways to help us keep our focus on what matters most. Uh, be happy, be contented and be physically and mentally happy. Wishing you a blessed day. What a lovely email. So it's why I love this community. It's so, it's so joyous, isn't it? So on that, the the practice of magic i think is the thing that i love performance is lovely as well but it, they're very different things for me and i i always say to people don't practice everything just for performing i'm not saying that you shouldn't it, it just sparked that in me um but the, the the practice that we do is so important it's like i said in the email yesterday it's my happy place it really is kind of something that if I'm not careful I'll put aside for the important stuff and of course we do the important stuff so we can do the things that we love to do. So practicing magic in and of itself is a, is a lovely thing and of course we want to polish and practice the routines that we want to perform. We are distracted ironically because we kind of you know we work with distraction but we are distracted by so many other things and you know magic products different magic books coming out so many tricks that it's very hard to kind of stay focused on what we want to do and my suggestion is always you know is to sit down regardless of how you feel because our brains trick us our brains will tell us that we're knackered and to do anything is is not what we want we want to rest and actually for me magic practice is like active rest some of it i'm not on about learning something new from a book but to actually just sit down and give myself 10 minutes and just say it's just 10 minutes that's it and sometimes it'll be more than 10 minutes sometimes I'll have more time uh, than I thought I'd have and in that first 10 minutes what I'll do is I'll think about actually what do I want to practice daily that if I'm not careful I'll forget so it might be a routine that I'm working on that I already know and I think maybe I don't need to practice that but actually if I don't practice it four or five days I start forgetting little bits of it the little nuances the details and so I think if I'm say practicing a triumph routine a really good example actually Daryl's triumph which I taught on the course onlinemagic.co which I remember spending so long with I went back to it the other day and I couldn't remember <laughs> I, spent, I spent weeks on this thing and I couldn't remember little bits of it so that's fine because it's not something I'm performing much. But if it is something you do want to keep performing and you know you might not be able to show anybody in a while, just run through that even once. You know, you don't have to do it 300 times. But if you run through a trick once every day, you just, it always stays fresh. So give yourself 10 minutes, 
he also mentions the you know we get caught up in facebook and linkedin and all that kind of stuff i'm the worst for doom scrolling i try not to but i just get into it and i find that the more tired i am the more scrolling i do it's a weird thing and the more anxious i am it's a it's an odd thing and it all it doesn't help let's say that so i think sit down and every time you, you feel like getting your phone out get the cards out get the coin out and even if you're not sitting at a desk with a lovely pad you don't need that you just need to run through your thing and you'll find well, many of us will find, not everybody, that you'll get into a sometimes an energised place for, but very importantly, a peaceful place. And, and it can reset you. I got home last night and I was in the office until six, all day filming. And I was really on it yesterday. And I got home and kind of felt quite anxious because all this, I learned loads of stuff on how to create certain videos and, and do certain types of filming. And I had all this information in my head and I just felt, antsy I just didn't feel at peace and I picked up the cards just ran through a few things just some spread cold stuff and you know getting faster at that and just focusing down on this thing not in an intent way but just in a kind of peaceful way and I found that afterwards I felt a lot better so know what your distractions are don't beat yourself up for being distracted because we all are but try and give yourself just that little bit of time and it doesn't have to be focused practice it can be play it can just be picking up the cards and and I hope that kind of helps you as much as it does me. And I have to force myself and remind myself how much I enjoy it sometimes. I'll just check there's nothing else I've missed in this. Um, e -do -do -do. And I would say, you know, when you practice to get it as close to perfection as you can, understand that part of that practice is the performance of it. So my mistake is always to over-practice, to kind of realise that it's not going to go any further until I get it out in front of an audience and understand the moments that I can do certain moves. So, and, and my ability drops down when I take a trick out as well. You know, it's way worse than it is in the practice room because, of course, my head's full of other stuff. In, the, in here, it's, there's no distraction, really. But when I'm out there, I'm, I'm distracted by sounds and things like that because I have ADHD, but also in what are they thinking? Is this working? The nerves of it all, all that. So understand that that part of the practice is getting that bit better as well. And the more you show people, the better that will become and those distractions will be filtered out and you'll be able to focus on your performance. So there you go. It's, these are going to be very waffly. There's no real major kind of theme to this, but I hope that helps some of you. Do let me know. stevefaulkner.com forward slash blog is where you can find all my links and uh, the posts. And I'll put this up there as a link as well. And onlinemagic.co, if you're interested in joining up on the course, just go to onlinemagic.co. And any questions, Steve at onlinemagic.co, uh, I'll answer them maybe on another video. All right. Oh, Instagram at Steve Faulkner as well and all the other things. Cheers.